time for Donkey of the Day. Donkeys of the Day, ask Charlemagne. I'm a Democrat, so being Donkey of the Day is a little bit of a mixed question. So like a donkey. Yeehaw. Okay. Donkey of the Day. <laughs> the Breakfast Club, bitches. Now, I've been called a lot in my 23 years, but Donkey of the Day is a new one. Yes. Donkey of the Day for Wednesday, June 14th goes to Lydia Marie Carmony. Now, Lydia Marie is a young white female from Wyoming. She attends the school called Gillette College. Now, she was arrested after she tried to just walk out of a Walmart with a cart containing nearly 2,000 in stolen items. Now, I have sympathy for college students stealing. I never went to college, but I understand the struggle of college kids. They don't have money. They are busy trying to be productive citizens. So if they steal to survive, I don't have a problem with that. I can turn a blind eye to that. All right. Not to mention, it's only shoplifting if you try to hide your items. Okay. If you go in a store, load up a cart full of stuff, and then attempt to just walk out, you're not shoplifting. You're just recusing yourself from paying for the items. Okay. I used to do it often. Still do sometimes. All right. Just magazines, though. And gum. Now, I told you all Lydia Marie got caught and what she did, you know, what did she say when she got caught? Did she tell the authorities, look, I'm a 23 year old starving college student who's just trying to survive? Nope. Did she flex her struggling college student privilege? Nope. Instead, Lydia Marie Cormany did what any brilliantly idiotic college student would do. She said she was doing research for a term paper on kleptomania. Lydia Marie got caught shoplifting at Walmart and she told the Walmart employees that she was doing research for a term paper on kleptomania. Kleptomania is not a new WWE pay-per-view. It is a recurring urge to steal, typically without regard for need or profit. I know some of you all are thinking, why did you feel the need to explain what kleptomania is? Well, I like to give people the credit they deserve for being stupid, including myself. So for those who didn't know what a kleptomaniac is, now you do. Now, the real reason Lydia was shoplifting was because she was forced into a new dorm room and her former roommate kept the majority of the household items. Now, if she would have just led with that. If she would have just said that from the beginning, the fact she's a white female college student probably would have gotten her a pass from Walmart. But no, you want to insult Walmart and the authorities intelligence and say you're doing a research paper for kleptomania. Kleptomania is a recurrent urge to steal. OK, recurrent, meaning that you would have had to steal from this Walmart several times to do proper research on kleptomania. You walking out of that Walmart after stealing from it once wasn't going to serve as proper research. You would have had to do it again and again and again. And that's probably why they called the police on your silly ass because they didn't want you to hit them again. OK, Lydia is definitely the type of student who told the teacher the reason she doesn't have her homework is because she left it in the back of her uncle Jeff's pickup truck. And then Jeff drove the pickup truck through a car wash. Lydia has definitely told her her teachers that her homework slipped out of her hands and blew away by the way teacher that's why I was also late to class because I was chasing after said homework after it blew out my hands the moral of the story is why I lie kids you would be surprised who understands your situation everything can be worked out some donkey of the days just sell themselves please give Lydia Marie Cormany the biggest hee-haw please <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for that donkey today. Yeah, and she was released from jail last Thursday, but now she faces up to 10 years in prison and a $10,000 fine for felony shoplifting. The Breakfast Club.